Good morning, calculus students. Uh, welcome to week four of our online learning. Uh, kind of, it seems kind of weird that we're talking about week four of our online learning, and I think it's week seven of our uh, isolation. Uh, I know that this has been a challenging time, and uh, uh, but I'm, I'm impressed with how well we've been able to keep up. So good job with that. Uh, first off, I want to talk about our test that you did last week. Now, as I'm filming this, I haven't had a chance to mark this test yet. So hopefully I don't need to refilm this and talk about that, but I'm pretty confident that uh, people will do well. Um, I know that you've done some practice and the uh, sample questions you've submitted to me before, I think prepared you for the test. Uh, if that was a stressful experience for you, don't worry, we won't have another one for at least three weeks. Um, and by that time, we might have a different idea of how to approach it. But um, in the meantime, I appreciate you trying your best to do that and uh, we'll be able to move forward with that. So uh, also when I had you sign up for the test, I just want to acknowledge some of the feedback I got from uh, par from students. Um, most of you said that your stress level is still okay. Uh, it is a little bit different than when I asked you, you know, way back in March about how you were feeling. Now that we've gone through seven weeks of this, our, we have different stresses on our plates. So uh, I'll keep adapting as we're moving along. But uh, I want you to know that uh, we're all in this together and that we'll be able to make through make it through this. Um, I asked you the Goldilocks question, how things were going. Is it too hot, too cold, just right? And 91% of you said it's just right. So that's uh, good to hear that uh, we are um, managing it as good as we can right now. We'll keep updating that if things need to change or circumstances change will uh, change as well. Okay, um, but uh, I'm my goal in this is just to best prepare you for next year. Uh, it's not to challenge you or test you or anything like that. It's to make sure you're ready for next year. That includes giving you as much information as I can and putting you in some sort of assessment um, experiences so that you experience it now um, before you go off and have to experience it next year. So we'll try all these experiences best to prepare you. And I'll continue to work very hard for you to make sure you're going to be as prepared as we possibly can in this really unique situation. Um, I talked about the workload. Um, you're going to see momentarily and when I pull up the calendar that even though things are going nicely, I am going to slow down slightly. And the reason is we are introducing our second half of the course now. So remember, this course is called Calculus and Vectors, although most of us just call it Calculus. Um, we're, we are done with the Calculus side, and we're going to now move into the Vector side. And the Vector side brings some new uh, interesting questions, and it feels very different than Calculus. So for some of you, this will be a nice little fresh start. It's almost as if you're starting the second half for a brand new course and uh, you'll be able to try and tackle these. Okay, uh, also some of you have some vector experience in physics and uh, that will help. Um, do know though that uh, mathematicians and, and uh, scientists or physicists uh, tackle vectors slightly different, not enough that it's gonna confuse you, it just has to deal with what our goal is. And mathematicians are um, using vectors to solve uh, problems and math problems and uh, physicists are using vectors to solve science problems. And so because our goals are different, our approaches are slightly different, but not enough that it's gonna confuse you. So you may, if you have has, do have some physics experience that will help you. Um, if you don't, it's okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna treat it like you have no uh, experience with vectors so that we'll be able to go on from there. Um, because we're doing vectors, that means we've got a new textbook. And I've got a whole bunch of these textbooks sitting on our shelves in our classroom, but of course they're not doing us any good there. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to go to the digital version of that textbook. And unfortunately, there is not a PDF of this textbook. So I have been doing scanning copies of the pages that I'll ask you to practice in uh, and post them as I can. Okay, so you're gonna notice in our classwork here, a new post here. Uh, by the way, this is all sort of faded out because it's not live until Monday. But um, here is our link to our new textbook. And as I scan more pages, I'll update that link so that uh, you'll have more of the textbook. Um, and I'll also include it in the week's worth, those questions. Okay, so um, 
just be aware of that, that we'll be using that to do some of our practice problems. And, uh, and, and we will try our best with that. Um, I really, really like the textbook. That's why I'm not looking for a different textbook. This is a great textbook that do, do a very good job. Um, and then, as I mentioned, we've got our work for the week. I said we're kind of slowing down. You're still going to see three posts uh, a week, but the amount of material in there or the practice questions is going to be slightly smaller, or I might split up some days. So you'll actually see day one and two been split up a little bit along with this day zero, um, just so that uh, we can slow down a bit and make sure we understand what's going on. Um, I have posted a calendar. I got some really good positive feedback about that calendar. Um, oh, let's just, uh, here is what you'll see, by the way, with the textbook. Uh, it's not the best scanning, um, but it's as good as we've got. And I know you can be able to zoom in. It's good quality, it's just not pretty. Okay, um, and let's look at our planning calendar for the week. Um, you'll see there's just a little preamble um, doing some sign law and cosign law just to as a setup for this work. Oh, that should say sign law and cosign law. I'll fix that. Um, but our two days of work are going to be intro to vectors here and forces. I've decided we had some great uh, attendance there at our Google Meet. I've decided to move the Google Meet till Wednesday because if we do it again on Tuesday, um, there won't be a lot to math to talk about because you'll just have this um, intro stuff. So I thought maybe if we move it a little bit later in the week, we'll have a bit more success or maybe you'll have some questions to ask me. So again, it's optional, but if you want to join me on Wednesday at 11 till 12, then um, we'll try that. Okay. Uh, but again, you'll see only this and nothing in italics, which means there isn't, you're not going to be handing anything in this week. Um, you're just going to be watching videos, taking notes and doing some practice. Okay. All right. So that's uh, all the information I have for you for this week. Um, do uh, take advantage of email me if you have any questions. And uh, I hope everyone is uh, surviving and uh, being able to manage this, this uh, fun, fun time we're in now. All right, take care. Good talking to you. Bye-bye.